What's up y'all? It's Deej with Deej Fishes here in the garage again. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on my favorite knot that I tie almost 100% of the time. Actually 100% of the time that I'm using fluorocarbon line, I'm, I'm always on this knot here. It's not a Palomar knot, it's not a fisherman's knot. Um, it's kind of like a uni knot. I mean, it's basically a variation of a uni knot. I'm gonna show you guys how to tie it right now. Uh, I call it a double uni knot. Now it's not, you know, don't confuse it with the connecting knot, a uni to uni when you're connecting braid to leader. This is a flow of carbon, carbon knot going straight to your lure. And it's a uni knot just doubled up. So you take your line end right here. You're gonna run it through eye of the hook just like you normally would. Pull a good amount of tag end out, and then you're gonna run it back through. So it's basically the same way you would start a Palomar knot. So I'm gonna pull my tag in and give myself a lot of line. This knot does use a good amount of line. It should look something like this to start. You got a loop over here on this end, and you got your main line and tag end on this end. Now, what you're gonna do, once you have the bait centered, you're gonna pinch your loop end with your tag and line end right here. See that? You're just gonna pinch it right here. Okay, so technically you have four lines pinched right there. And then with this loop end and the loop end only, you're gonna create a circle. You see that? We have the loop end, we wrap it around, and we create a circle just like that. Okay? Now from here, you're pinching that, that once you create that circle, you're pinching it right in the same spot. So now you have all the lines pinched right here. And all you're gonna do is wrap this loop end through the circle you just created. So one, now I normally do five to six times. I'm gonna do six times right now. So we got one, two, three. You guys can count. Six, la six wraps. And that's what it's gonna look like, okay? Now you're gonna take what I'm holding right here in these fingers is the loop end still. And that's what you're gonna pull on to start cinching it. And it's gonna come up and get tight. Now you don't wanna get it too tight right here cause you still need to cinch it back down to the eye of the hook. So I pull it just about to right there. Now I'm gonna let go of the loop end. So there's your loop end loose right there. And I'm gonna grab the other line which is your tag end and your main line. And you can watch the knot. I'm gonna pull on it and the knot's gonna cinch down. Now, right when it gets to the end, I like to get it wet a little bit so you don't burn your line. And then I take my index finger and put a little bit of tension on the, on the loop end. And then pull, and that makes everything cinch down perfectly. And then you're gonna have three tag ends. You got your main tag end, and then you got your loop, which is two. So you're gonna cut that off. I wasn't prepared with scissors, but here they are. Now, I like to leave a good amount of tag in because just in case your knot slips a little bit, you know, I mean, the fish aren't gonna notice that if they don't see all this line. They're not gonna notice that you have a little tag in right there. Maybe I'll cut it a little shorter, but you know, leave yourself like almost a centimeter. That way if your knot slips, your whole knot doesn't come undone which is very uncommon with this knot because this knot is the strongest knot that I've found. I have uprooted entire trees with eight pound tests with this knot. I think the reason being is, you know, you got the line passing through the eye of the hook two times and the knot is a pretty long spread out knot. So it spreads out the pressure. There's not just one pinch point where the knot can snap. You know, this knot is super durable. It can take a beating because again, the pressure of the knot, the strength of the knot, is spread out along all of those wraps. So that's the double uni knot. Give it a try, or you know, if you like it, let me know. 
let me know in the comments what knots you guys use. You know, if you use a Palomar or a Uni knot or a San Diego Jam or whatever it is, you know. This is what I use right now, but I'm forever evolving as a fisherman. So if I found something better, I would definitely use it. But, man, I highly doubt it. That's the double Uni knot.